Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Principle of, NM Air Spectroscopy. NM Air Spectroscopy, is concerned with the, magnetic properties of, atomic nuclei. When, the principle of NM air spectroscopy is applied to atomic nucleus of 1H, then it is called proton nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, or simply PMR spectroscopy. The present animation is about, proton nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. With the help of, 1H NM air spectrum, we can find, the number, and, the types of, hydrogen atoms, present in a molecule. NM air spectroscopy, is a very important tool, in the structural determination of, organic molecules. For example, in the NM air spectrum of methane, we can observe, only one peak, corresponding to four hydrogen atoms, of the methane. Because, all four hydrogen atoms of methane are in the same environment. Similarly, we will observe only one peak, corresponding to the six hydrogen atoms, in the NM air spectrum of, ethane, as, these six hydrogen atoms, are in the same environment. But, for propane, we observe two signals. One signal corresponding to, six hydrogen atoms of the two methyl groups, and, another signal, corresponding to, two hydrogen atoms of the, methylene group. It is very important to note that, such of those nuclei, whose spin quantum number, I, is more than zero, are NM air active. For example, if we consider hydrogen atom, the spin quantum number of the nucleus is half. So, it is NM air active. But in the case of 12C, and, 16O, the net spin quantum number of the nuclei is zero. Because, the mass number, and, the atomic number, are even. Hence, these are, NM air inactive. It should be understood that, 13C is NM air active. Because, the net spin quantum number of the nucleus, is not zero, as the atomic number is even, and, the mass number is, odd. Principle of NM air spectroscopy nucleus of hydrogen atom contains only one proton, no neutron. The proton is positively charged and undergoes continuous spin and behaves like a bar magnet. Any spinning charged species produces a magnetic field. The proton moves in characteristic manner under the influence of external magnetic field which is called precessional motion. It resembles the spinning top which performs a slow waltz-like motion. When the hydrogen atom, is exposed to the external magnetic field, the spinning proton of the hydrogen atom behaves as a bar magnet. It can either align, or oppose with external magnetic field. These orientations are parallel, or antiparallel, with respect to the external magnetic field. Number of possible orientations of the spinning proton, can be calculated by the formula, 2L plus 1. In this equation, L is the, spin quantum number. By applying this formula to 1H, the possible spin orientations are 2. So, among these two orientations, one in the aligned direction, and, the other one in the opposed direction, with the external magnetic field. When a magnetic field of 1.4 Tesla is applied, the proton precesses, for about 60 million times per second. Such NM air spectrum is called 60 MHz NM air spectrum. The energy absorbed by the spinning proton, in the external magnetic field, may be lost, and, the spinning proton, can again come to the aligned position, with lower energy. Precessional frequency, can be defined as, the frequency corresponding to the difference in the energy between, the two spin states of the nucleus, that is, E2, and, E1. Precessional frequency, is also called as, Larmor frequency. The precessional frequency of the spinning proton, 
is directly proportional to the strength of the external magnetic field. That is, nu is directly proportional to B0. Or, nu equals gamma B0 divided by 2 pi, where nu is the frequency and B0 is the strength of the external magnetic field and gamma is gyromagnetic ratio, that is, the ratio of the nuclear magnetic moment to its nuclear angular momentum. When a precessing proton is irradiated with a radio frequency corresponding to the precessional frequency, there takes place the absorption of such radio frequency. The precessional frequency of the nucleus and the frequency of the absorbed radiation are in resonance. Hence the name, nuclear magnetic resonance. A plot of absorption of radio frequency against intensity is an emir spectrum. Chemical shift in a particular magnetic field strength, all the protons, hydrogen atoms of a molecule, will not precess with same frequency. The precessional frequency of the proton depends on its chemical environment. In the NMR spectrum, it is the position of the signal on x axis. The shift in the precessional frequency of a proton, due to its chemical environment, with respect to the signal given by tetramethylsilane is called chemical shift. That is, due to the interactions with chemical environment, in which a particular proton is present, there will be shift in the radio frequency absorptions. In order to measure the chemical shift of a proton, an internal standard, like tetramethylsilane, is used, whose chemical shift is arbitrarily taken as zero. The chemical shift values are measured with respect to the signal given by tetramethylsilane. Chemical shift can be defined as the difference in ppm between the resonance frequency of the observed proton and the hydrogen atoms of the tetramethylsilane. Chemical shift is expressed in delta units. The delta value is the difference in ppm from the TMS signal. Chemical shift can also be expressed in tau units. Tau equals 10 minus delta. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.